Hi everyone, my name is Kate McManus from the Penguin Random House Library Marketing Team, and today I'm going to be sharing three biographies and memoirs in three minutes for spring 2023. First up is The Kneeling Man, my father's life as a black spy who witnessed the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. by Lita Mikola Slutsky. This is an intimate and heartbreaking story of a black undercover police officer who famously kneeled by the assassinated Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his daughter's pursuit of the truth about her father. Meryl McCullough, the kneeling man, was a member of an activist group called the Invaders who worked with King in his final days. What many did not realize was that McCullough had a secret identity as an undercover Memphis police officer reporting on the activities of the group. Meryl McCullough was a black man working as a spy for a white power structure. This was so far from Lita's understanding of what it meant to be black in America and everything she eventually devoted her life and career to. She set out to learn what she could about her father's life, work, and motivations. But with that decision came risk. What would she undercover about her father and what did she really want to know? Next, from Ava Chin comes Mott Street, an incredibly personal history of the Chinese Exclusion Act, told through a single family's journey to start a life in America. As the only child of a single mother in Queens, Ava Chin, Chin's family tree was shrouded in mystery. She decided to change this. With decades of painstaking research, not only did she discover the identity of her father, but she also found a building in New York City's Chinatown on Mott Street, where generations of both sides of her family had lived. However, with breaking the silence surrounding her family's past meant Ava also had to confront the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, the first federal law to restrict immigration by race and nationality, barring Chinese immigrants from citizenship in the United States for six decades. In discovering the Mott Street building, Chin also found ancestors who carried the weight of these exclusion laws and realizes that exclusion is not just a political condition, but also one that is deeply personal. Lastly, we have Rough Sleepers by Tracy Kidder, which is the inspiring story of a doctor who made a difference by caring for Boston's homeless community. Early on in his career, Dr. Jim O'Connell was offered a choice. Would he defer a prestigious fellowship that would further his career or would he spend a year as a doctor to homeless citizens? Jim could not refuse the offer, and it later turned out to be his life's calling to work with those who sleep in the quote-unquote rough or the homeless community. Today, Dr. O'Connell and his colleagues lead numerous outreach groups, one of which being a street team that reaches these rough sleepers by van. Tracy Kidder spent time over five years riding with Dr. O'Connell as he navigated the city, offering medical care and things like socks, soup, empathy, and friendship to some of the city's endangered citizens. This is an incredible, beautifully researched, and inspiring book, and it explores how one doctor has changed countless lives by facing one of American society's most shameful problems instead of just looking away. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and I hope you enjoy these titles.